you're doing. Thank you for the word, God, that's been said. God, the testimonies. God, we thank you for the songs, for the praise. We thank you for the people coming out to be a part of the service one today. Thank you, Lord, for giving us breath, food, shelter, and clothing. We pray, God, for those that are in war, those that are in famine, those that are in prison, those that are shut in for whatever reason. God, we pray for their deliverance. We pray for those that are not saved. God, that you will save them, Lord. We pray that your will would be done and that your kingdom would come. In Jesus' name, amen. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you, all. amen, for coming out today. Amen. We give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the head of our lives. Amen. We thank you for, praise God, my wife, Pastor Elizabeth McCray. Amen. Thank you for all of, of Pastor Amen. Walker and praise God, Pastor Dudley and his absence and all the ministers, evangelists, and all of you. God bless you. Praise God. Somebody say, I love the Lord. Amen. We're going to talk a little bit about today. Amen. Uh, my testimony. Somebody say, my testimony. We're going to talk about my testimony. Somebody say, you got a testimony. Amen. You have a testimony. So we're going to read from the book of Revelations, start there, the book of Revelations, Revelations 12 and 7, Revelations 12 and 7, praise God, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, somebody say thank you Jesus, I'm going to say praise the Lord, thank God for this weather, amen, praise the Lord, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, feels good outside, don't it, amen, amen, it was kind of cool last week. I don't know, I stayed in the house most of the last week. I was a little, went outside, like my wife tell me, don't go outside with your head wet, and I did it anyway, and paid for it for the whole week. I don't know why them husbands don't listen to their wives, I don't understand. I'll be praying for them, though. And I took care of <laughs> And my wife took care of me, amen. All right, just a little bit of, a little bit of bad, not bad weather, but a little bit of a, being out there in the yes. dress the wrong way can mess you up. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's read. Amen. Somebody Thank say, my testimony. my testimony. Look at somebody today. Look at somebody and say, he's going to talk about. He's going to talk about. My testimony. My testimony. And say, you have a testimony. You have a testimony. Now I say, do you know. Do you know. What your testimony what your is. testimony is. Uh-huh. Amen. Uh, do you know what your testimony is. Amen. All right, Revelations 12 and 7. Amen. I think we're going to stick with that one, ain't it? Do you know what your testimony is? Right. Oh, yeah, we're going to stick with that one. Come on, somebody remind me about that later. Okay, Revelations 12 and 7 says, And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought in his angels and prevailed not. Neither was there a place found anymore in heaven. Hmm. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. Amen. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. Look at somebody and say, I'm an overcomer today. I'm an overcomer today. Uh-huh. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved out their lives unto death. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Do you know your testimony? Some of us, uh, I'm not talking about conversion. Testimony. I'm not putting down conversion testimony, but this is not the testimony that you don't overcome by that testimony. A lot of people think you overcome the devil or the adversary by telling him, you know, God brought me out of the hell hole. God took me off a of dope. God, that's a conversion. Amen. 
Muslims can say God, uh, their God brought them off of alcohol. Y'all understand that? They can say their God brought them out of drugs. And they can live some clean lives, can't they? Amen. Muslim women, amen. You say how God brought you out of wearing skinny jeans and whatever. I'm just saying. And how he did you. But they, they have on these things. You can't even see who, what, what they is. Yeah, they, they, they dress from head to toe. So that's not, the, that's not the testimony I'm talking about. Because they can testify to that. To a clean life. Testifying to a clean life is good. And you want that kind of testimony. You want that kind of conversion. Y'all hear what I'm saying? But that's not what brought them through. That's not what over, they, how they overcame. They overcame by the blood of the Lamb and their testimony. They had a testimony. What was their testimony? Y'all understand? So that's the testimony we want to talk about. Amen. The, the, the thing that they testified to. The testimony that they had. So let's read a little, little bit more. The book of Luke 21 and 10. Luke 10, uh, 21 and 10. Praise God. Amen. I know God brought you off, off of drugs and alcohol and that's good. He did, did it for me too. That's fine. That's good. Somebody say that's good. That's good. Amen. But the telling the devil you off of drugs and alcohol ain't going to do you no good. Amen. Somebody say you need a testimony. All right. Somebody said, we're going to get it right. Okay, Luke 21 and 10 says. Then said he unto them, nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And great earthquakes shall be in divers places and famines and pestilence and fearful sights. And great signs shall there be from heaven. Mm. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you. Yeah. Delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons. Mm -hmm. Being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. And it shall turn, and it shall turn to you for a testimony. And it shall turn to you for a testimony. testimony. Amen. It's going to turn to you. What you go through is going to turn to you for, I mean, after you've been saved. Y'all follow me. I'm saved now. What's your testimony now? Y'all understand? Amen. Not by how he brought you out of darkness into the marvelous light. What's your testimony now? You might say, what's your testimony now? Sometimes people, uh, 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 Sometimes people will testify, they call it testifying, and you, you, you're talking and you meet them and, uh, and they're, they're telling you about how they used to pour, smoke dough, and all that, and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. and a lot of times, I used to be a homosexual, and a lot of times people ain't testifying, they, they're bragging. Y'all all right? And if you have the spirit of discernment, you can discern if these people are bragging. They're just telling you, and sometimes people are advertising. You know, I used to be a homosexual. Well, they're hoping another homosexual hear them and come, come talk to them later on in the service. There's all kind of things going on yes, yes. out there. Y'all understand? Yes, yes. But there are real conversion testimonies. I'm not saying anything against those. Y'all follow me. But there are testimonies that people are putting themselves up and not glorifying God, making themselves something. Y'all understand? Amen. You know, somebody testify about God brought me, you know, a thousand dollars this week. Somebody want to get up and say, well, God brought me two thousand this week. You know, bragging. People do that kind of stuff. Y'all hear me? Yeah. Uh-huh. But it says, this thing that you're going through after you've been saved. He's talking about somebody that's been saved, somebody that's been converted. That's not, that's not a part of this testimony. It's what you're doing now for the Lord. Amen. You have a testimony about what you're doing now. What's your testimony now? What are you testifying to? Y'all understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, he said, but 
uh, but before all these, they shall lay their hands on you. Somebody say, that's the testimony. That's the testimony. They shall persecute you. Mm-hmm. Somebody say, that's the testimony. That's the testimony. They shall deliver you up to the synagogues and into prisons and bring you before kings. Somebody say, that's the testimony. That's the testimony. Y'all understand. Yeah. We see when, the, uh, when they had the war in the Middle East and they took the Christians and they cut their heads off. That's a testimony. Mm. Amen. They can testify that they were witnesses of Jesus Christ. They didn't deny him when somebody somebody threatened them to deny Christ. Mm -hmm. You deny Christ and you become this religion. We won't cut your head off. No, we won't lose our testimony. We're willing to die. They love not their lives unto death. That's the testimony you got to have. The testimony of Jesus is my savior. Jesus is my Lord. That's the testimony. I stood for Jesus. I stand for Jesus. Yes. Amen. Because like I said, a, a Buddhist can say, I don't drink no more. Mm-hmm. But he can't say Jesus is Lord. That's your testimony. He can't say for God so loved the world and he gave his only begotten son. Uh, these religions can't say God have a son. But you can. That's your testimony. Yes. Yes. And you're going to hold on to your testimony until the day you die. Jesus is going to be Lord of your life until the day you die. And after that, he'll still be the Lord of your life. We're going to go to the book of St. John. Somebody say, I have a testimony. Hallelujah. And, 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 and I hear, because when you have the spirit of discernment, sometimes you, it'll irritate you. Or the Holy Ghost is grieved when people are so-called testifying. Because they're always talking about their old stuff. Right. What are you doing today? What's your testimony today? Y'all understand. Amen. What's your victory today? Because of Jesus. Read the book. It says St. John 21 and 24. Amen. St. John 21 and verse 4. 24. Chapter 24? 21 and 24. Oh, okay. This is the disciple which testified of these things and wrote these things. And we know that his testimony is true. This disciple is testifying to the witness of Jesus. He's testifying. I wrote this stuff down. I'm testifying. What I have seen about the Lord. He ain't talking about himself. The testimony is the witness of what did you see Jesus do? What's your testimony about Jesus? Amen. Amen. Something that Jesus can do that no other man can do. What's your witness? He's the savior of the world. Somebody said, I have a testimony. 21 and 25 says. And there are also many other things which Jesus did, the which, if they should be written, everyone, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. Amen. Mm-hmm. Go to the book of Acts. Uh, we're going to go Acts 13 and 22. I have a testimony. I have a testimony. Acts 13, 22. But he couldn't write everything down. Because it couldn't contain all of the works of Jesus. Why are we still talking about ourselves? Why are we testifying about Jesus? What he's done. Ain't that right? The souls of the people. How he died on the cross. How he suffered, he died. How God so loved the world. That testimony and how that when the Holy Ghost came into your life. You knew that Jesus was real, that he was alive because you ain't seen him. Have you seen Jesus? But you're a witness because of the Holy Ghost. Somebody say I'm a witness because of the Holy Ghost. Did you turn the Bible yet? Yes. Acts. Acts 13. 22. 22. And when he had removed him, he raised up unto, unto them David to be their king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, 
I have found David. Now this is God testifying about David. Somebody say, I have a testimony. I have a testimony. God is testifying about David. What's God's testimony for David? Read. I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. Uh huh. And when he had removed him, he raised unto them David to be their king, mm -hmm. to whom also he gave testimony. God has given testimony mm -hmm. and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. Yes. What a testimony. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes. What a testimony. Not about him being delivered, but about his own heart. He was a man after God's own heart. He sought for God. That's a testimony. Yes, yes. Somebody say, that's a testimony. That's a testimony. Ooh, that's a testimony. That's a testimony. Somebody say, that's a testimony. That's a testimony. When you love God, they say that about you? Yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a, that's, a, that's a woman after my own heart. Somebody said, God is good. God is good. Uh-huh. And David had this testimony, and God is testifying. God said, oh, look, look. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, there's more. There's more. I have a testimony. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and, before we get more into that, let's go ahead and go to Hebrews 11 and 5. Because I know some folks still ain't believing me yet. They want to hold on to I got I got delivered from dope. But that's rusty. <laughs> what you doing now? Well, now? That 40 years ago. It's good. Yeah. It's a conversion. Yeah. But that ain't the thing you overcome with. Y'all understand? Because yeah. when the devil comes to accuse you, you got to know what to say. Yeah. Somebody say, Jesus. Jesus. You don't tell the devil I got delivered off of alcohol. Right? You overcome him by the blood of the lamb and the word of your testimony. What's your testimony? Jesus is Lord. Yes, yes. That's your testimony. Jesus Somebody Lord. say, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. That's how they love not, not their lives unto death because they're going to kill you when you say, Jesus is Lord. Mm. They're killing people over the world That's when they say, Jesus is Lord. Amen. All they have to do is reject Jesus. But they refuse to. They refuse. Their testimony is that Jesus is Lord. Who do you say that I am? Mm. What's your testimony? What's your testimony? Jesus. What you going to say when, Somebody you know, they, they say that I'm going to cut your head off if you don't mm. deny Jesus? That's right. Jesus is Lord. Yes. Yes, he is. And we saw those young men having their heads cut off all because they had a te testimony. testimony. That Jesus was Lord. Y'all understand that? Yeah. God testifies of David that he had a good heart. Man after my own heart. What's your testimony to God? God is my Lord and my Savior. Your testimony to him, his testimony to you. Y'all understand that? Yes, yes. See, our testimony to God, we need that. That's powerful. That's how we overcome. But what is God saying about you? Yeah. What's God saying about you? Uh-huh. Job, have you considered my servant? Job, who's an upright man? Uh-huh. He's just... Uh-huh. Noah, a preacher of righteousness. What is God saying about you? Is he saying anything about you? Are we doing anything? Is there anything that we're doing for God to get, to get God's attention that we're doing? Somebody said, but Jesus did it all. But you need to do something. Because he saved you. Created you unto good works. What's the works? What can God testify about you? What can God say about you? How can God introduce you? Here's David, a man after my own heart. I don't understand. And you come to heaven and God's scratching his head, which we know he ain't, but. Now, what did you do? 
Let's read. Amen. Somebody says it's time to get busy. It's time to get busy. And do the work of the Lord. The work of the Lord. Uh-huh. Hebrews 11 and 5 says. Amen. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death. Mm -hmm. And was not found because God had translated him. Yes. For before his translation, he had this testimony. He had a what? That he pleased God. He had a testimony. Yes. What was his testimony? That he pleased God. That he pleased God. Right? Please God. And we know without faith it's impossible to please God. That's right. That's right. But here it is. Enoch is translated. But before he's translated, before he's raptured, before he's caught up, he had a testimony. You need to have one too. Mm -hmm. He's caught up. He's translated. Why was he translated? He had a testimony. Mm -hmm. Well, what was the testimony? He pleased God. Yes. And we know without faith it's impossible to please it's God. Impossible. That's right. Amen. Amen. Keep reading in the book of Hebrews. Hebrews. Amen. Verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. By faith, nor being warned of God, of things that of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the, to the saving of his house. What did Noah do? Prepared an ark. What is Noah's testimony? Prepared you mean Noah have a testimony? Yes. yes. <laughs> Read it. Let's see. By yes. faith, Noah being warned of God, God warned him, but what did yes. he do with the warning? That's right. That's right. Of things he had not seen yet, he moved with fear from the warning. He believed God. Yes. Enoch pleased God because of his faith. Mm -hmm. Noah pleased God because he moved. Yes. He had faith in God. Yes. Put yes. the scripture back up. Yes. Uh-huh. You see that. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, uh, being one of God of things not yet seen. I have one up here. Uh, 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 what happened? Move with fear because he believed God. Yes. Prepared an ark uh -huh. mm -hmm. to the saving of his house by which he condemned the whole world. How? Through his testimony. Mm. He had a testimony. Yes. No, read, let's see who else had a testimony. Amen, amen. Paul is writing this book and he's testifying through the Spirit of God. He's testifying mm -hmm. of these saints that did things of old. Yes. This is their testimony. Read what it says. Verse 8. By faith, Abraham... When he was called to go, to go out into a place uh -huh. which he should yes. have to receive for inheritance. Yes. Obeyed. And he went out, not knowing whether he went. Not knowing where he was going, but he went out. But he went out. Because he believed God. That's right. He obeyed. This is his testimony. Yes. Read. By faith, he sojourned in the land of promise, uh. as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles, which Isaac and Jacob the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which had foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Uh huh. Through faith also Sarah. 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 Even Sarah has a testimony. Yes, yes. You know, we know Sarah because she laughed. Mm -hmm. But she didn't just laugh, mm -hmm. she believed. Read yes. what it says. Amen. Don't. Through faith, also Sarah herself uh, received strength. Sarah, through faith, this is her testimony. Mm -hmm. Sarah could not have that child without faith. That's right. Amen. Even though she laughed, she still had to believe. That's right. That's right. Because she's got a testimony. Mm -hmm. Somebody's testifying about Sarah. Through faith, she can see. Yes. The woman came to Jesus, and Jesus said, Be of good cheer, your faith. Not mine. He testified to her faith. <laughs> Your faith has made you whole. Woman, be of good cheer. Or be it unto you according to you. But there was time when Jesus didn't testify to their faith. He told his apostles, oh, ye of. Y'all ain't got no faith. Wherefore did you doubt? Sad testimony. Mm -hmm. You understand? Amen. You, you 
have a testimony. Amen. What are you doing with the faith that God gave you? Amen. What are you doing with the word that God gave you? What is your testimony? testimony. Read what the Bible says. Amen. Through faith, verse 11. Through faith also, Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed. She received strength mm -hmm. through faith. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. She heard God say a child was going to be born to her. That's right. And she received that word mm -hmm. and she gained strength. And she had a child. This is her testimony. Yes. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Oh, yes. Amen. Read what the Bible says. And was delivered of a child. Somebody say, I have a testimony. I have a testimony. God's going to say something about yes. me. Yes. He's going to either say, depart from me, I never knew you. Oh, well done. Well done. My good and faith. That's a testimony. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Some people want a job, you can't get them to do nothing. Nothing. And you know that testimony. That's right. So, oh, Lord, I don't want the same shift with so-and-so. <laughs> I got to do everything. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's their testimony. Yes. But somebody saying something about you say, oh, man, please put them on the shift with me because I know they're going to put, please put so-and-so on the shift with me. Amen. Because you have a testimony. You have a testimony. Good or bad. You got a testimony. <laughs> you got a testimony. Ain't that right? Mm -hmm. Ain't that right? Amen. Read what the Bible said. When she was past age, because she judged him faithful. She did. Who had promised. Mm -hmm. Verse 12. Therefore, spring there even of one in him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky and multitude, and as the sand which is by the seashore. Why is it that we only remember about Sarah Laugh? She got this big old beautiful testimony. Amen. And we put her down because she laughed. Uh, she only laughed because she was like, is we going to have some fun while we're doing this? <laughs> That's why she laughed. He's serious, man of God. Oh, Abe. And she laughed. Mm -hmm. But she had faith. Mm -hmm. Look at all his faith. Look at all these children born from her faith, mm -hmm. from her testimony. Look at the powerful testimony of Sarah. Amen. Read the Bible, what's it say? Amen. These all, verse 13, these all died in faith, mm. not having received the promises. Read. But having, not having received the promise. Uh huh. The promise. Not promise. Is it promises? promises yes. Read what it says. But having seen them afar off. Uh huh. And were persuaded of them. Yes. And embraced them. And embraced them. Read. And confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Read. For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. Yes, they do. Read. And truly. If they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. But they had faith. Read. This mm -hmm. is their testimony. Read some more. But now they desire a better country that is in heavenly. Wherefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God. Mm -hmm. For he had prepared for them a city. Yes. By faith, Abraham, when he was tried, Offered up Isaac. By faith. Mm -hmm. This is another testimony. Yes. By faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac. Mm -hmm. Read what it says. And he that had received the promises offered up his own, his only begotten son. Read. Of whom it was said. Can we see what a testimony is? Mm -hmm. Yes. Not a conversion, but you've been converted. Abraham is converted and now he's living it. His life is the testimony. Amen. What he's doing for God is the testimony. Amen. God did bring him out of his father's house. God did tell him to go and look for a city who's building and making his God. He told him to go. Amen. Y'all understand? Oh, yes. He did have his conversion. Mm -hmm. But now he has his testimony. Mm -hmm. He's living it. He's not just preaching it. He's living it. Amen. Somebody say he's living it. He's living it. You know? Jesus saved me, but ain't nobody, nobody see no nothing. Mm -hmm. No living it. Read the Bible, what's it say? Amen. Verse 18. Of whom it was said that in Isaac shall thy seed be called, accounting 
that God was able to raise him up, even from the dead, from whence also he received him in a figure. By faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. Uh -huh. By faith, Jacob, when he was a dying, blessed, blessed both the sons of Joseph and worshipped. Yes. Leaning upon the top of his staff. Uh -huh. By faith, Joseph, when he died, made mention of the departing of the children of Israel and gave commandment concerning his bones. Read. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents. What did you do by faith? Mm. What are you doing by faith? What's your testimony? What is God saying about you? We need to say about God that he sent, he sent his son, Jesus, to die for us. Amen. We need to testify about that because Jesus fills us with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. You overcome by the blood of the Lamb, the cross, the work of the cross, yes. and the word of your testimony. That's how you overcome. Because if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, that's your testimony. Thank you, Jesus. you shall be saved. That's your testimony of him. Mm -hmm. I'm a witness that Jesus yes, lived. Yes. He filled me with his Holy Ghost and his mighty burning and his mighty burning fire. I'm a witness that Jesus yes. lived because he lived inside of me. And because he lives inside of me, it's him doing the work, not me. Amen. Amen. But that's my testimony. That's right. That's right. Christ in you. The hope of glory. Somebody ought to see Jesus in you. Yes, yes. And you become a testimony. Amen. Somebody ought to see the king in you. Somebody ought to see you turn the other cheek. Amen. Right? Amen. And not fighting the cashier in Walmart. Mm -hmm. She got my $20. I'm going to kill this woman up in here. <laughs> Is it worth $20? Is your testimony worth more than $20? When your friend treats you wrong, is your testimony worth more than what they did? Mm -hmm. Huh? Amen. You got to get them back and destroy your testimony? Mm -hmm. You can't stand for God. And Paul said, well, just take the wrong. Just take the wrong. They've wronged you. Just take the wrong. Mm -hmm. You're representing Jesus. You're an Amen. ambassador of Jesus Christ. Amen. Or are you the type of ambassador they need, they need to send back home? Mm. Because you're drinking and driving mm. as an ambassador. That's right. Read the Bible. What's it say? Amen. Amen. Finish I have up. a testimony. Amen. By faith, Moses, when he was when he was born, yes. was hid three months of his parents mm -hmm. because they saw he was a proper child. Yes, he was. And they were not afraid of the king's commandment. Yes. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. There's riches involved. Mm -hmm. There's wealth involved. There's lots of money involved. But I refuse Amen. to be a part of the world. I could be rich. I could be wealthy, mm -hmm. Moses says. But he refused it all. That's his testimony. That's right. That's right. Ain't that right? Amen. What have you given up for God? Mm -hmm. What have I given up for God? Amen. I'm not just talking to you. I'm talking to me too. What have I done for God? Right. What have I given up for God? Right. What's Amen. my testimony? Huh? Amen. Amen. Remember Esau? He sold his birthright for a bowl of beans. Oh, you could just, you could just have a horrible testimony. Mm -hmm. That's his testimony. Mm -hmm. What's yours? What are the angels saying about you? What are the angels saying about me? Mm -hmm. What's your testimony? Read the Bible. What's it say? Verse 25. Mm -hmm. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season, mm -hmm. esteeming the reproach of Christ greater, yes. riches than the treasures in Egypt. I'd rather suffer with the children of God. Mm -hmm. Man, you gonna go, you telling me you going, on Friday night, you gonna go up in that church and say, oh, you know it's boring up in there, you crazy? There's a party over here. <laughs> mm -hmm. We gonna, and we gonna, and we gonna, and we gonna. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. Right? And you get in your car and you crank up and come down here. Pull past the beating the drums and he can't play worth nothing. 
But the other guy, there's a big old concert in town who can play real good. But he's not talking about Jesus. They leading you astray. But you have a good time. And the pastor gets up and sing and she messes up. Both of them as a team is not working good playing at all. And you sit through it. You suffer through it. How many of you ever had to suffer through church? I got both of my hands up. I don't have to suffer through church. I had to sit there and hear me suffer. I'm suffering listening to me. I'm like, boy, I could sing a little bit better than that, can I? Y'all understand? And you suffer through the worship. You suffer through the praise. And you go back home and dread coming back. If they don't get no new drama up in there, I can't stand that. And you suffer. Y'all understand? And not knocking some, some, I'm just not knocking no church. Then you go to one church and they got the best of everything up there and they said, live like you want to live. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Do what you want to do. Everybody's up in there. All the good singers, all everything sounding good up in there. Usher even treating you nice. Right? But that word keep hitting you. For God I live, for God I'll die. I got a testimony. I got to hold on to my testimony. You mean, Job, you're going to live through all those sores and you're going to live through all of that, Job? I'm holding on to my integrity. I got a testimony. Job, why don't you just curse God and die? You know? He'll understand. But no, I have testimony. Holding on to the Lord. Everything ain't going to be peaches and cream. Mm -mm. Everything ain't going to be roses and wonderful. You're going to come to church and ain't going to have an offering to give sometime. But I'm holding on to God. You're going to come to church and you're going to have a bill need to be paid. You're going to have children acting crazy and acting a fool. And the devil telling you, where your God at? I'm holding on right. to my testimony. Amen. Jesus is Lord. Yes. Jesus is Lord. But I want to hear him say, well done. Yes, yes. Well done, mm -hmm. my good and faithful, servant. and faithful servant. And many times I come to this church door years ago, I would come here and Friday night service and look at the poor door and look like somebody had unbolted this shit. <laughs> Nobody coming in, you know. I'm like, Jesus, ain't this the truth I'm preaching? And you're coming down the road and you're thinking to yourself, ain't no need in having no Friday night service. Ain't nobody coming. And every time I thought that thought, another brother from another church would come. Every, every time I thought that thought, he'd come from another church. Just come in. He don't even stay long. Pastor, I just want to drop off $20 to encourage you. He wouldn't even say to encourage where he just drop off $20. Sometimes he'd do it now. He'd be coming out so quick. And go, I don't even know you're there. Pastor, this brother dropped this off. I said, was it so-and-so? Yeah, that was brother so-and-so. From another ministry. God wanted me to hold on That's right. to my testimony. That's right. He told us when we, before we started the church, he said, you're going to need stamina. That's right. You're going to be able to, you're going to need to stick to it. That's it. You know, because what you preaching ain't popular. Mm -hmm. People don't want to live right. Mm -hmm. Nope. Y'all understand? Yes. It's a suffering. It's the truth. This is a suffering way. Mm -hmm. it's, a it's a suffering way. That's right. Be of good cheer, he said, but I have overcome the world. In the world, you shall have tribulation. Yes. Read the Bible. Read the rest of the Bible. We're going to get ready to close. Amen. Verse 26. Esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt. I'm holding on to Jesus because it's yes. greater. Amen. He's greater. I haven't seen all the greatness, but I know he's greater. Read. Amen. For he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. 
By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Regardless of who tell you mm -hmm. to turn away from Jesus, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Regardless of how the world try to pull you back don't do it. and offer you everything, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't follow. Hold on to your testimony. Right. People get way down the road. Now they're 65, 75 years old and they won't give up on God. Give up on God. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Hold on to your testimony. Hold the race on. is not given to the swift. That's right. Hold on. Somebody say, hold on to your testimony. Hold on to your testimony. Let's read just a little bit more. We're going to move out. I didn't mean to read all of that in that book, but we oh, read it good. anyway. First, First Corinthians 1 and 4. First Corinthians 1 and 4. Bear with me. First Corinthians 1 and 4. I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God, which is given you by Jesus Christ. That in everything you are enriched by him in all utterance and in all knowledge, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you. Uh-huh. So that ye come behind in no gift waiting for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Is the testimony of Jesus Christ confirmed in you? It's a little easier over here in this country about the testimony of Christ, but just say you are a Jew and you convert to Christ and the pressure is on you. They want to know, I've seen you hanging out with so-and-so. Are you a Christian now? It's easy over here, ain't it? Oh, sure, I'm a Christian. But over there, they kill you. Mm -hmm. Over there, you can't be with your family no more. That's right. Over in Islam, they cut your head off. Mm -hmm. That's right. Paul said, I found in you the testimony of Jesus. I'm not trusting in my Judaism. I'm not trusting in the law. I'm not trusting in my own righteousness, but I'm trusting in the blood of the cross. Amen. The blood of the lamb. Somebody say the blood of the lamb. The blood of the lamb. I'm trusting that and my testimony that Jesus lives because he yes. lives in me. He's in me. Somebody say, he's in me. He's in me. 1 Corinthians 2 and 1. 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 2 and 1. Amen. Amen. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you, except Jesus Christ, and him crucified. And that's the testimony of God. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. And him crucified. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, God's testimony. That whosoever believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. God's testimony. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to know about you. Do you believe that Jesus is the Christ? Yes. Do you believe that he's the son of the living God? Yes. I know you probably ain't got it all together yet in your life. But do you believe that Jesus yes. is the Christ? Yes. I know there's some things you got to work on, things you got to straighten out, but get this right. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that Jesus is the Christ? Yes. But pastor, I got to get, I got to get, do you believe that Jesus is the Christ? Because you don't get past this step, you ain't going to make it nowhere else. That's right. You understand? Mm -hmm. You have to get this testimony. Yes, yes. Get this down. The blood of the lamb. He did his part. The blood. Yes, he did. I recognize the lamb's blood. Because in certain religions, they tell you God don't have a son. They tell you plain God don't have a son, but yes, he does. That's right. That's right. Is that your testimony? Jesus is the son of God. Mm -hmm. God, don't have, God didn't give his Holy Spirit. Do you have a testimony that God gives his Holy Ghost? Mm -hmm. I have that testimony. I believe in the Father. Yes. I have that testimony. I believe in the Son. Mm -hmm. I have that testimony. Yes. I believe in the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. I have that testimony. Yes. Y'all understand? Amen. I have that testimony. That's the testimony. Yes. That's in me. I have it. Uh huh. Titus 2, 1 and 8 said, but... He said, be not thou therefore for shame of 
the testimony of our Lord. Read that for me, Pastor Titus. Uh, 2 Timothy, I'm sorry. 2 Timothy 1 and 8. Read it for me. 2 Timothy. And first chapter, verse 8. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God, who has saved us and called us with an holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his... Don't be ashamed of the testimony of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Don't be ashamed of it. Amen. You on your job and they talking their smack, you talk yours too. You know what we did? You know what we're doing? You know what? You know what? You know what? Jesus is Lord. Amen. Jesus saves. Yes. Jesus delivers. Mm -hmm. Do the people at your job know you say? Do they know you believe in Jesus? Mm -hmm. Somebody say, help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Mm -hmm. Help us. Coming down to the last couple of scriptures. First, 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 first Corinthians 2 and did I do that one already? First Corinthians 2 and 2. I think I did. I didn't write it down. First Corinthians 2 and 2. 2 and 2. For I determined not to know anything among you. Yeah, we read that. Say Jesus Christ. Revelation 6 and 9. Revelation 6 and 9. Revelation 6 and 9. Amen. Amen. Revelation 6. Six and verse nine. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord? And for the testimony and true. in which they held. God is testifying about you. What are you saying about him? Jesus is Lord. Yes, he is. Hold on to your testimony, on, regardless of what goes on in the world, regardless of what new thing come out, new doctrine, new teaching. Jesus is Lord. Yes. Regardless of what becomes popular in the world, Jesus is Lord. Re regardless of what religion grows up and become the big religion of the world, Jesus, Jesus is Lord. It's Lord. And they love not their lives even unto death. And what you say you're not willing to give up. And they love not their lives even unto death. death. But if I tell my friend I'm a Christian, she, she ain't gonna wanna be with me no more. If you live like you're a Christian, she ain't gonna wanna be with you no more. All right. <laughs> Amen. That's right. Y'all understand. Amen. Tell them. Tell them. They could be waiting on you. That's right. Your Tell testimony would bring them right. in. Tell them. Your confession That's of faith right. in Jesus Christ could bring them in. That's right. You don't know who you are. You don't know. You don't know how God's going to use your testimony, mm -hmm. your life. How God's going to point you out to a friend. Amen. I'm closing with this. I remember years ago when I got saved, first got saved, looked and saved a little while. And my mother said to me, my brother wasn't saved at the time. My mother said, she said, don't you mess up. He watching you. Somebody's watching you. To see your testimony. Are you going to hold on. To the testimony of Jesus. Tell somebody to keep looking. Because I'm going to keep holding on. Come on give the Lord a hand clap. I won't give in. I won't go back. Can't go back. To the way. I used to be.
I won't go back. I won't go back. I can't go back to the way I used to be. When I used to be ashamed of Jesus. I won't go back. Can't go back to the way it used to be for your presence and change me. Father, I pray for those that are watching by social media. Somebody's losing their testimonies. Help them, Father. Help them, Lord. Somebody has lost their testimony. God, I pray that they would come back to you and regain their testimony. That Jesus saves. That they regain their testimony. That God still gives his Holy Ghost. That the Holy Ghost is still a keeper. I pray, Father, for those that are here. God, that hearts and minds would be changed. That they would exalt you above everything in their lives. That you would testify of their faithfulness like you testified of David's faithfulness. And we've seen the testimony of the many witnesses of Jesus. Save, deliver, set the captive free. Bless us, God. Help us, Lord. Keep us. Deliver us in the name of Jesus, your son in whom we believe. Fill us all with your Holy Ghost and your mighty burning fire. God, pardon our iniquities, remove our sins, yes. and fill us with your spirit. Yes, with your spirit. We pray yes. in, Jesus in Jesus' name. God bless you, social media. Because I, I won't go back. I can't go back.